We are looking at Psalm 18. David talks about his relationship with God and uh, why he believes God is such an awesome person for him. So from verses 13 and 14, we read, The Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered the foe. Lightnings in abundance, he vanquished them. There's a lot of dramatic language here, and we are not taking it literally uh, because they are figures of speech that David uses to describe God's deliverance. And as we encounter the way God delivered David, we can apply to ourselves, we can trust God in the same way and see him do wonderful things for us. So David talks about two things. One, he says the Lord thundered from heaven. What did he mean by the Lord thundered from heaven? Well, he explained, he said he'd uttered his voice. In other words, God spoke, but his voice was like thunder from heaven. It was like hailstones and coals of fire. So basically what David is saying is, when I cried to the Lord, he came to my aid swiftly and he spoke. Probably God says, leave him alone or set him free or something to that effect. So when God spoke and decreed his word, his word was like thunder. Because God delivers by his word. And when you read the Bible, you see that most things that God does, he does it by speaking them. And so David is saying God thundered from heaven. He spoke from heaven. And when he spoke from heaven, it was like coals of fire. It was like hailstones. It, it means all of nature responded to the word of God. And God is now acting on my behalf. And he's deploying everything in nature to come to my aid and rescue me. And then he says, not only did God thunder from heaven, he sent his arrows. Well, God doesn't physically use arrows. So he says God spoke, God uh, delivered his word, and his arrows were like lightning, and they came and they scattered the enemy. So that's basically what uh, David is saying. God came to my aid. It was a supernatural act. It was just thunderous. It was miraculous. And all of a sudden, the enemy that has gathered around me started scattering. They ran into all directions. And that's how he, he was delivered from this attack that came on him. It wasn't of his own making, but God scattered the enemy. I can imagine David in a battle where probably he has been surrounded. He's in a rocky place. There is no way of retreat. There's no place to run to. And sudden death uh, seems real that he's going to be killed. And then all of a sudden the enemy is gone. They stop pursuing him. They've run in different directions. And he's wondering, what happened? David says, they heard the thunder of God. And he says, they felt the arrow of God and God scattered them. So he is telling us how he perceives that God drove the enemy away. And we can always uh, see that in our own story. That many times you'll be surrounded and you can't tell how you're going to come out. And then the attack that seems so real and inescapable fizzles. And the problem is gone. It's just gone. And you wonder, where did it go to? God thundered from heaven. God sent his arrows and God scattered the enemy. May the Lord God, uh, whom we worship, do the same for you. May he thunder from heaven and may he scatter every enemy that has come against you in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are my deliverer. Arise on my behalf and scatter the works of the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.